everyone. Welcome to my vlog of me seeing a lunch for the first time. I am shooting this on Friday afternoon. It's about 6.30 um, and I am getting ready to drive up to Vandenberg or to the area around Vandenberg to see the Insight launch at somewhere between 4 o'clock and 6.30 in the morning. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I made the very, very good decision to go see The Descendants last night, but it did mean that I got to bed at about two, and I did have to get up at 7.30 to work because I had some deadlines today and stuff, so um, I've taken one nap today, only one, and it was about 25 minutes because it was to an episode of Seinfeld, the one with the astronaut pen, fittingly enough. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue to try to rest a little bit and take another nap before getting on the road at about 11 o'clock. So I will be vlogging the whole thing and bringing you guys along with me. I have never seen a launch. A lot of people are amazed by that. Um, but I've never been able to take the time or afford to put myself in a hotel in Florida for a week hoping something goes. So now living in California, I can actually drive up the night of. So I'm gonna go do it and I'm super excited. I really really hope it goes and um, I'm gonna bring oh Pete says hi <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride this is my life with a cat just smashing his little face into mine all the time it's pretty much the best like ever yeah. all right it's midnight ish or a little before midnight I have a triple espresso with me because I'm not nor this is normally me passed out time I'm not the one that goes out at midnight. I've never been that person. So I'm not sure how the next two and a half hours are gonna go. This is like the worst part of the night coming up. But I'm hoping that the like excitement and adrenaline of the launch wakes me up when we actually get out to Vandenberg. So yeah, driving through the desert at midnight. I'm excited. Launch nights. So after driving two and a half hours, made it out to the church near Vandenberg. And it's, I was kind of curious as to uh, what it was gonna be like meeting sort of off-site. Again, I've never been to a launch, so I'm kind of amazed. I keep looking over this way, this way, because I will turn around and show you guys. Let's try to do this without getting shadows all over me. You can, so no, you can't see it at all. <laughs> but right behind these trees over here, I'm pointing at it, but you can't see it. I just got to the, uh, the NASA social spot. Or at least I feel like half the town is also here, but we're in a church and there's a lot of people here to watch lunch. So right now there's just a lot of drinking coffee and mingling. All right, guys, there is a serious lack of light because, you know, they want people to be able to actually see the launch. Um, but we are, we just came out of the four minute hold. It is uh, 4 01 and a bit in the morning. Um, we just came out of the hold. Um, so we're, we're about ready to launch. So I am going to do some vague attempt to actually show you guys the launch. Um, so as we get down to the final countdown here, it's kind of exciting. Um, for those of you who don't, who don't know, by now if you're watching this video, you do know that this is the first ever interplanetary launch from the West Coast, which is super exciting. Um, and pretty interesting, uh, InSight is taking a very odd trajectory. Um, well not odd, I mean it works obviously, but it's, uh, it's uncommon to launch from here to do a planetary mission. So this is pretty exciting, pretty interesting. There's a, there's a fair bit of fog covering the launch, uh, the launch site, so you can't totally see it. There's maybe a uh, hundred people a bit of a distance away. Oh, there's a car. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people gathered and you can't totally see it, but I'm going to attempt to show you guys at least the streak in the sky or I'll probably just splice in NASA's footage. That's a better idea. But um, I'm gonna go up and, and watch a launch because I have never seen a launch before. So this is really exciting. So let's go watch a launch. We're about 25 seconds from launch. Doesn't look like much, much from where we are, but uh, yeah, it's that vague dot. Oh, you can hear a little bit of a rumble. A little bit of a rumble. Oh, wow. 
It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. It sounds like it's so far away. Oh, don't tell me it's totally going to be in fog. What just happened? I'm, what's happening? What's happening? You can't see anything. NASA stream back on and see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Heard a little bit of a rumble. I tried to get as much audio as I could for you guys. Heard a bit of a rumble and then less of a rumble and then actually asked some people around to turn on the NASA live feed because it was not obvious whether or not anything actually happened. It kind of sounded like it started and then it didn't go like the, like the four inch flight kind of deal. Um, saw absolutely nothing and heard almost nothing. <laughs> I kind of hate to say that like, owing to the fog and you can't actually see anything. I can't, I tried to get a picture of it, but it's it's too dark, obviously. It's 4.07 in the morning. Um, that might, I hate to say it, but that might be the most underwhelming <laughs> reason I've ever stayed up all night. Oh, sigh. Oh well, I can say I did it. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go drive home for two and a half hours. <laughs>